Hello, I'm author Denise Turney, and I'm the author of the book, Long Walk Up. It's a fictional account of Africa's first woman president, which actually took place, I think, the same year that Long Walk Up was published, which I'm just honored about. And yes, you are watching the Chisa.com YouTube channel. I hope you hit that subscribe button. So what is today's uh, Chisa.com YouTube show about? Well, today I'm going to do a reading from Long Walk Up. And I have my favorite parts of the book, and I keep, like I was going to do it again, I keep turning to those same parts, but I said, no, I'm going to read something different. And this is from Section 2 in Long Walk Up, and this is, uh, again, Section 2, Chapter 5. To evolve, <laughs> you must experience change. Ooh, that's the thing we don't like. To evolve, you must experience change. You have to ask yourself, like Mulliken, why do I want to stay the way I am? Why don't I want to change? Time changed Mulliken. Her once flat chest expanded into a mount of malleable flesh, a thing that caused men to gape at her. Her hips widened. Her thighs were taut and full. Her spine and limbs lengthened, making her six feet tall. Her lips, ripe like summer melons, were supple and full. Her wide, curious eyes looked like they were in bloom. Her laugh was deeper, richer. Her voice, defying the circumstance, changed like a wind instrument. Oft times it was strong and deep. Over the years, her voice, her firm, gentle handshake, and unmovable belief that Yahweh loved her, ganged her a trio of jobs, cook at a restaurant in Addis Ababa, accountant with the Parliament of Ethiopia and communications writer at the Office of Government Spokesperson. Away from work, Mulliken gave herself to research. Restoring Africa was a hunger gra grafted to her heart. The hunger filling her pining her with ache at the plight of African citizens came at her the way the mosquitoes bearing malaria had years ago when she lived amongst the community in the plain. Now the community in the plain, uh, it, if you read Long Walk Up, you will be introduced to the community in the plain at the very beginning of the story. She didn't realize it until now, but each step she took in effort to walk up, walk away from hunger, Pain, ache, and death led her here. Huh. It was not enough that she had again crossed paths with the farmer she met at the market. You have to read the book to understand who these people are. The man with the blue and yellow truck less than a week after she left Desta's home in the village. The small tree keeping sentry over Desta's house, watching out for her and her four sons and two daughters. It was not enough. And I'm going to stop. This is Long Walk Up. It's a short book. I think it's a powerful story, particularly if you're someone who, like Gideon in the Bible, you don't expect much from yourself. Mulliken is an orphan. She starts out as an orphan. I'm not going to tell you how she becomes an orphan, but she becomes Africa's first woman president. Imagine that. It happens more often than you can think. So all she's done, all these experiences she's had now, for, I mean, just to, just to make it, most people would call her a hero, her own, that she just survived. Oh my God, what she goes on to do. So I encourage you to get a copy of Long Walk Up. It's available in ebook or print book copy. And if you, if you don't see it on the store or library shelves, all you have to do is ask the clerk, can you order me a copy of Long Walk Up by Denise Turney? And they can order you a copy because it's carried by the largest book distributors in the world. So I hope you'll get Long Walk Up and get to meet Mulliken, the little girl who became Africa's first woman president. Bye for now.